Hello, in this video, we will learn more about relational databases. There are many popular relational databases like MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, Sybase, etc. In a relational database, the data is stored in multiple tables that are linked via a common field. A table is also called as relation and is a data set that is organized into rows and columns. For example, this table has the information about student and this one has information about customers. Each row in this table is called as record or tuple, which represents one complete unit of information. So in our example here, each row has information about one student only. Columns are also called as fields or attributes, which contain one type of information. The number of columns or attributes is called as degree of the relation. For example, the degree of this table is 3. Similarly, the number of rows or tuples in a table is called as cardinality of the relation. In this example here, the cardinality is 4. Let's quickly take a look at some questions. In this table, what is the degree and cardinality of the table? Degree is 2 and cardinality is 5. Another example, in this table, what is the degree and cardinality? Degree is 4 and cardinality is 3. Now in a database, one of the key concepts is to be able to identify each row or tuple uniquely. Let's take this student data as an example. Now when I want to enter marks, these two students have same info. So which one should I update? That's where keys help us. Typically a table has one column or field which uniquely identifies the records in the table. This field is called as primary key. When a database is designed or created, in a table we search for attributes which uniquely identify a row. There could be more than one attribute like that and they are called as candidate keys. Means they all are candidate to be the primary key. Out of these candidate keys, one is selected as primary key and remaining are called as alternate keys. It is very much possible that these keys are actually combination of attributes. For example, I can use name plus surname as combination which will uniquely identify a row. Then the key is called as composite key. Now many databases have multiple tables. How are they linked with each other? They are linked through foreign key. A foreign key is a field that references the primary key of another table. Let's take this example. We have a student table and then we have a result table. The student table has a list of all students that are there in the class. All the results of students are in the result table. Roll number is the primary key and the result table has a foreign key roll number which links it to the student table. This is the foreign key which references the primary key in another table. In our next video, we are going to learn more about SQL and how we can manipulate these tables.